President Biden is vowing to stay in the race, but there's mounting pressure from some Democrats to step aside. I'm not going anywhere. President Biden trying to calm fears about his re-election prospects while spending Independence Day at the White House. But a growing number of people in his party are openly questioning whether he should remain at the top of the ticket. His wow. credibility with both the voters and with political leaders across the board and especially in his own party is largely gone. More than two dozen House Democrats are reportedly preparing to break with the president over concerns he could cost them control of Congress. Not only do they lose the White House this go around, but they're going to lose down ballot races across the way. On Wednesday, Biden met with Democratic governors to ease concerns, reportedly telling them he needs to get more rest and limit evening events. His campaign chair telling Fox that was clearly a joke. While stumping for Biden on Thursday, California Governor Gavin Newsom doubled down on his support. He said he's all in. I doubled down, said I'm all in. Now the Biden campaign is turning the attention back on Trump ahead of the Republican National Convention. We are talking about 90 minutes uh, of Joe Biden's performance. It's the same as when we have skimmed over when Donald Trump says he is going to be a dictator. The president is back on the campaign trail today with a rally in Wisconsin and a high-stakes interview with ABC News. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox News.